going on guys my name is tim russwick and today we're talking about single player games more specifically i want to talk about are single player games still viable this is this is crazy right because we're seeing a lot of stuff going on in the industry right now a lot of companies are moving to multiplayer based games and even single player games that otherwise maybe would have been a solo experience uh, are moving to at least multiplayer elements in their games right um, and it's an interesting conversation because I think if you look at the landscape, if you look at how, especially with microtransactions and loot boxes and, uh, the way that some of the engagement works with multiplayer games on the surface, it would seem like multiplayer games are just a better investment, right? Like for, for at least for the AAA companies, when they make a game like Call of Duty, Sure, people may play through the campaign once or twice, but really what keeps them coming back is the multiplayer. They play it over and over again for that aspect. Um, Halo 1, the story inspired me, but the multiplayer kept me playing, right? And would the game have had the same impact on me had it not been for the multiplayer? I don't know, because like I literally took a week off of school and like played Halo 2 nonstop for like seven days uh, didn't move <laughs> when that game came out and that was the multiplayer that wasn't the single player but then on, on top of that with all the stuff going down in microtransactions uh lately and all these companies putting microtransactions in not saying i agree with it but it's what's happening uh we're looking at companies making more and more money off of cosmetic transactions and those cosmetics are only really purchased in most cases to show off to your friends or to show off how cool your character is or all that stuff. In other words, the game being multiplayer focused or the game being competitive in some nature um, helps increase the incentive for people to buy things and add things to their character. Because if they're playing on single player, are there incentives to do that stuff? Sure. Do you want your character to look cool? Sure. But when other people are seeing it, I think it's even more um, more effective to kind of put those things in as far as a monetary perspective goes. So are single player games still viable? Well. I've asked a few people this, and the questions that they or the answers that they usually give to me are um, they talk about the new Zelda game, right? Or the Mario game, um, or um, Uncharted, and those kind of things. And I, I think it was Rami Ismail that uh, did an article recently about how those games aren't really. Um, just single player standalone games because they're first party games they're they're games made as an investment from the hardware manufacturer to sell more consoles and if you think about it it makes sense right like a lot of the really cool like horizon zero dawn or stuff like that a lot of those games are made by the hardware manufacturers specifically uh for the hardware and if they didn't have an investment in selling more more hardware would those games really make them that much of a much of a return? And granted, they make money, right? But when you compare that to another massive multiplayer franchise, um, you know, like Call of Duty or Destiny or Halo, um, is it the same return? You know, like is and now we're talking a lot about AAA stuff. So th those are just kind of my my basic thoughts on the issue. Uh, as far as single player games being viable, I think they are. And I think in the indie space, uh, we have a massive, massive opportunity, uh, to make these single player games because more and more AAA companies are focusing on multiplayer aspect of their games. And so I, I believe this is my personal belief that we're actually going to see a hole in the market. We're going to see a avoid in coming years of single player games i think we're already starting to see it uh, a little bit um everybody's trying to go to multiplayer games i see a lot of party games popping up um i was really surprised the the there are billions i've been following that game for a couple months now and that game's just dominating twitch and all that and that's a completely single player game um it's a zombie take on the rts and turned into like a survival game type so and that's fantastic to me but I think as we move forward, as we kind of see this rise of multiplayer and microtransactions, because honestly, if I'm being completely honest, I think that whole thing is going to get worse before it gets better. So 
I think we're going to see a lot of multiplayer game stuff. I think like companies like Rockstar that's, that came out with GTA V, uh, they haven't made a game in a couple of years because the microtransactions in GTA Online just is ridiculous. I, I, I read an article recently, I, I forget the exact numbers, but I think they made more with microtransactions than they made in the actual launch of the game. So I think the future of titles like Grand Theft Auto and you know especially destiny i love destiny death but man it's a shit fest right now with the microtransactions all of that stuff is is going to be really multiplayer focused um well destiny was anyway but i'm, I'm talking about like most games that might have been single player they're going to see multiplayer elements um and there's there's so many different titles right and i think the only really single player games that we can expect are from the hardware manufacturers the actual console owners uh, the people that have a vested interest in actually selling the hardware. Um, other than that, I think it's a massive opportunity for indie game developers to create those stories and those worlds and those beautiful places for people to experience these single player experiences. Um, do I think the consumer is gravitating more towards multiplayer games? Uh, yes. But what I want to iterate here is not that there's not a trend moving towards multiplayer, both from a consumer standpoint, but also from uh, the monetization standpoint of AAA Studios, but also that the number of players is so ridiculously large that even if that's true, you will not notice. <laughs> I can promise you that. So if you're worried about, oh, there's not enough people, no, there are more people than you can possibly fathom. You could possibly imagine on this planet and you don't need anywhere near all of them to play your game. You don't even need a fraction of a fraction of a fraction to play your game to be massively successful. So uh, I think there's going to be a big opportunity for indie game developers uh, now and coming soon. It's one of the reasons why I'm working on a, um, a single player experience. And it's one of the reasons why my next title, I think, is going to take that single player experience to the next level and kind of be a procedurally generated type of game because I really believe in procedural as the future as well. Um, I think that takes single player experiences to the whole next level with really like, you know, allowing the player to experience something new every time. Uh, but story games are, I think, there's not enough of them right now. And I think as the kind of all this multiplayer stuff happens, I think there's gonna be a void in the market. I think people are gonna accept them pretty well. Are people gonna ask for co-op? Yes. Are people gonna say, why don't you make this multiplayer? Yes, <laughs> you're gonna get nonstop comments about that. I've already gotten a ton of comments on Fallophobia, like, is there going to be co-op? Is there going to be all that? And um, you got to make a choice on whether you want to make a single player or a multiplayer game. I think there's going to be a market for single player games. Um, I think there is a bigger monetization opportunity for AAA studios on multiplayer, and I totally get that. But I think for indies, it doesn't really make sense. One, because it's more technically complex and it'll take you significantly longer. But two, um, you don't have the, m most indies don't have the, psychological experience the understanding or the desire to really implement something like that that can potentially take advantage of people and really create a monetization model that may not be ethical so that's the case story games i think are fine um could i be wrong sure i'm no game dev expert i'm no dude i'm no guru i'm just a dude with an opinion and i've made a lot of single player games i made a couple multiplayer prototypes but nothing that I think I would want to turn into a game. Um, will I make a multiplayer game at some point? Sure, probably. Um, and I think it'll probably do well. But I'm going to do that at a point where I know that it's something I can achieve. And it's something that uh, I can make successful. So that's my opinion on it. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below. What are your thoughts on this? You think uh, multiplayer games are becoming a trend? You think single player games are going out of style? Do you think people are want gravitating towards multiplayer just because there's more of them or because um you know people just want multiplayer games um i'd love to know your thoughts so leave them down below but once again i'm tim ruswick and i will see you again tomorrow